The eyes to the right, 298. The nose to the left, 56. So the eyes have it, but the House will be aware that the motion has not obtained the majority required under the Fixed Term Parliaments Act 2011. Thank you. The eyes to the right, 327. The nose to the left, 299. So the eyes have it. The eyes have it. Unlock. I note that the Leader of the Opposition is once again not in his place in what I think is a slightly symbolic way. Uh, Mr Speaker, 48 hours, ago, 48 hours ago he was leading the chance of stop the coup, let the people vote. Now he's saying stop the election and stop the people from voting. Uh, I, 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 think there's, uh, the, I think there's only one solution. Uh, I think he has become the first, to my knowledge, the first leader of the opposition in the democratic history of our country to refuse the invitation to an election, uh, Mr Speaker. I can, I, can only speculate, I can only speculate as to the reasons behind his hesitation. Mr Speaker, I can, I, the, the, the obvious conclusion is, I'm afraid, that he does not think he will win. And, I urge his colleagues to reflect on what I think is the unsustainability of this position overnight and in the course of the next few days. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Would uh, the clerk will now proceed to read the. Oh, uh, very well. Point of order, Sir Bernard Jenkins. Speaker, is there some way of tabling a motion that this House has, this house has no confidence in Her Majesty's opposition? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It is evident from the smile on the face of the honourable gentleman that he is very pleased with the point that he has made. <laughs> and a point of order, Mr Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister. Speaker, I was just going to elaborate by saying this is the first time in history that the opposition has voted to show confidence in Her Majesty's Government. Yeah. 